Hello everybody, Brad Pointer here with another reaction to a song that I haven't heard before. Today we are listening to Nightwish and this song is Romanticide. Now, so far, the three songs that we have listened to by Nightwish have been very good. I enjoy them greatly and um, yeah, I wish to continue on this little journey through their music one song at a time once a week so for a while we'll see how it goes but so far i'm just loving it so let's jump into romanticide Her voice is just so pretty. I mean, come on. I mean, the whole time I'm just like, and even when she was doing those um, short little operatic staccato bursts at the beginning, the vibrato in there, I mean, come on. That's, that's a rare talent. And, uh, you know, at least I think it is to be able to do it and in such a with such a background of um you know just really true metal going on in the background it's pretty freaking awesome So some tapping, some hammer-ons, some half tap, half hammer-on, half bend runs, you know, if there can be three halves of something, um, I guess, yeah, you know, if you look at it, because you take the first part, which is the tapping, which kind of half goes into a half tap, half hammer-on thing and then it goes from a 
half hammer on thing and evolves into just some bendiness and just regular you know fingers on frets with a pick hmm hmm oh yeah I'm talking about the guitar player by the way so I, it's you know it's expected that they use picks you know unless they're plucking unless they're Glenn Campbell or uh, uh, Mel Tillis um, but anyway let us continue Get it, let me. something knocking and I thought maybe it was the dulcimer back there banging against the wall because I was doing my best impersonation of head banging um, and I'd you know used to throw my hair all over the place but the old neck just didn't like it and uh, yeah so I don't do I that's about the extent of the head banging that I can do nowadays <laughs> But, um, yeah, man, that was, that. you know, I didn't catch any of the, the meaning, just the beauty of the lyrics and the, the melodies. Um, I was riding, I was along for the, in this one, you know, um, as I still, man, this man, I don't. I don't listen for lyrics. I'm not listening to the words. I'm just feeling the emotions and feeling the feeling the music more than I'm listening to it. Um, that's with a band like this, man. I mean, that's the way it was with Rush. I never <sighs> Rush lyrics. I was like, what? You know, didn't even bother reading them off the tape covers. You know, the little fold-out cassettes. If you guys remember those, man, the little cassettes that had all the little pages and that all the lyrics and pictures and everything and they could get like this long you know all folded up so you could st and stuffed into that little cassette but uh yeah I'd, I'd look at those sometimes but most of the time i would you know be watching it be be listening to it start listening and be like whoa wait you know i'm missing the good part <laughs> i'm paying attention to what they're saying not what they're doing um and that's the same with this um you know i'm way too fascinated by by what they're putting together than uh, 
and the the melodies and the just the music of it than uh, the lyrical aspect but man these guys just I think that's my fourth reaction to them and you know so far four out of four they're just some excellent excellent musicians doing some really you know fun stuff man just some good sounding you know go get them music and uh you know i challenge you to work out to this because i don't and you know you can challenge me to work out and i'll just say no but um there you go so thank you guys so much for joining me today and um you know nightwish army thank you guys so much uh we are almost at a thousand subscribers and uh i'd say probably a good third of that is you guys so just know that i appreciate you and i appreciate the music and um thanks for you know joining me on this on this journey through it so thank you and i'll catch you in the next one peace